Hi, future GISPs. I'm going to teach you everything that I learned to easily pass the GISP exam so that you don't have to spend years reading textbooks, getting degrees, paying for prep courses, and searching the internet for information like I did. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything I learned about data validation and uncertainty. Data validation and uncertainty is the fifth section under the Geospatial Data Fundamentals category of the GISCI Geospatial Core Technical Exam List of Knowledge Categories. Let's get started with Section 205, Data Validation and Uncertainty. Data Validation Data validation ensures that data represents the real-world phenomena they intend to describe. Data is validated by comparing it to ground observations or model-generated data. Validating data ensures accuracy and completeness. Data validation involves comparing measured data to real-world true values. Data validation requires a source of accurate data for comparison. Data validation may involve developing accuracy statistics to compare with data standards. Data validation measures accuracy. See Section 208, Knowledge of Spatial Data Standards, including ISO, FGDC, and OGC for accuracy standards. Model Builder Validation In Esri's Model Builder, validation checks if all of the steps of the model have been incorporated correctly and function properly. This is different than the general concept of validation. Data uncertainty. Data uncertainty is the possible unknown difference between the real world and the spatial data that represents it. When reporting a measurement result, we can include an uncertainty range. For example, length equals 10 plus or minus 2 centimeters. Uncertainty can be due to systematic or random error. There are many possible causes of uncertainty. Semantic uncertainty. Semantic uncertainty is the uncertainty that arises from discrepancies in the meanings applied to spatial data. This often results from ambiguity and vagueness. Semantics is closely related to syntax. Semantics is the meaning of words. Syntax is the structure of a language, or how the words work together. Ambiguity. Ambiguity occurs when imperfect indicators of phenomena are used instead of the phenomena themselves. Ambiguity is usually caused by multiple terms referencing the same feature. Ambiguity is caused by direct indicators or indirect indicators. Direct indicators have clear correspondence to the mapped phenomena. An example of a direct indicator is measuring temperature with a thermometer. Indirect indicators are surrogate links with the phenomena of interest. 
An example of an indirect indicator is estimating temperature with altitude. Vagueness. Vagueness is a lack of distinction between boundaries. Vagueness is a lack of distinction between objects, classes, or categories. Fuzzy logic represents vague classifications. Fuzzy data. Fuzzy logic converts semantic descriptions into a spatial representation using tools that reclassify variables using fuzzy membership classes rather than Boolean classifications. Membership of data to classes can be assigned using a continuous scale of membership from 0 to 1. Zero is assigned to data that are not part of a set. One is assigned to data that are part of a set. Reclassifying inputs based on membership classes enables representation of complex phenomenon that are not adequately modeled using discrete variables. In other words, Fuzzy classification is a technique for creating categories in a situation where it's not possible to assign categories to data with 100% certainty. Epsilon bands. Epsilon bands are an area around a line that has a high probability of containing the true line segments. Larger epsilon bands are associated with lower quality data. Error matrices. An error matrix is a table that can be used to determine the accuracy of categorical data. In an error matrix table, dataset values are assigned to one axis and true values are assigned in the same order on the perpendicular axis. Features that match their true values are tallied on the diagonal axis. Error matrices are also called error tables. A Monte Carlo simulation. A Monte Carlo simulation is a model used to predict the probability of a variety of outcomes when the potential for random variables is present. A Monte Carlo simulation runs multiple simulations and averages the results. See section 605, Knowledge of Descriptive and Spatial Statistics for Probability Statistics. See section 203, Understanding of Data Quality for Information about Accuracy and Precision. Now you know everything I learned about data validation and uncertainty to easily pass the GISP exam. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep helping people pass the GISP exam and achieve the rewarding careers in GIS that they deserve. You can also find everything I learned to pass the GISP exam in my book, The Ultimate GISP Exam Study Guide, available on Amazon. My study guide is an easily understandable, comprehensive, graphical, all-in-one resource for passing the exam. You can find the link to my study guide in the description below. Thanks for joining me and congratulations in advance on passing the GISP exam.